Hey yo everyone, today we're gonna have some Torquagel gameplay. And Torquagel was already pretty insane before quests, but I think he's even better now because he has a good synergy with quests. A lot of quests you wanna just cycle a lot of cards, like buy a lot of cards, or you just wanna play a lot of elementals or demons or whatever the quest tells you. And on this hero you do that because you just hero power and get the whole shop. So I think the hero is even better now and in this game, I get a quest where I get like two dragons every turn, so I kind of force going dragons, even though I don't think dragons are the best tribe, but it was really strong. So, hope you have fun and enjoy. Alright, Torquagel. Torquagel has to be very good with all your quests, because you get a lot of minions in your hand that you can set again. And cycling cards is very good with quests. I should play ads so people can swap to my account easier. Say what? I said I have to play ads because if you play ads yourself, Twitch doesn't play ads. And Twitch plays an ad every time someone clicks on your stream. So if I play ads myself, people can switch from stream to stream and open my stream if I'm in a good game without getting an ad. So oh, that's smart. I should do that. I didn't skip the song, what? I didn't. On dog stream, ad blocker doesn't work. I don't think it has to do with the stream. Ad blocker gets broken. I don't know, my ad blocker always works. What if I get a sponsor by a card game that has NFTs in it? Shake the make. What about that? Are you gonna be mad? I don't use that block, I get gifted subs. Ooh, that's I mean that's two good cards, two bad cards. Alright. Have a friendly minion attacked. Oh, this is so hard to get. After each combat, get a plain copy of the last friendly minion that died. Of the last friendly minion that died. It's pretty good, but I don't have a taunt and, and having, having my taunt attacked seven times is kinda hard to do. Play seven max or dragons at the start of your turn, get two random dragons to your hand. Uh, have 20 friendly minions die. After you buy a minion, give it plus one, plus one, and upgrade this. No pirates, though. I mean, it's never this. It's just too hard to get. I will never get seven. Have 20 friendly minions die. I mean, I played two mechs already this turn. And a dragon. That's already three out of four. And then I get so much money. Two dragons a turn. Marizon is also a dragon. I'm going for this. Uh, no. No, you always. Normally, you can only always get minions from your tavern tier or lower. Um, Zarus is a big exception. Maybe I can get this quest next turn already. Gas Coiler. Gas Coiler can spawn, but that's different, right? That's in fight. In fight, you can spawn whatever. But you cannot uh, discover anything higher than your tavern tier. And hero power is also discovered, technically. In fight, those rules don't apply. That's different. Dude, this hero is so toxic. I think this hero is even better now with quests, because he can get quests very easily. Alright. A golden monkey. A golden monkey is just a 6 6 taunt. That's golden, that gives you a discover. If I sell this. Sell this, sell this. I need to sell one more minion though. Maybe I just sell this pair.
So I get two dragons every turn now. Why did it why did it have to be dragons? Why couldn't it be like a good trap like Argos? Honestly, buddies were pretty balanced. Prize lobbies were not balanced at all, and this doesn't seem balanced at all either. Buddies were actually kind of balanced. Wait, I actually get... what? That's actually crazy. <laughs> yeah, I guess we level then. We just go to 6, play Caligos, right? Wait. Wait. What? Okay, this spell is also OP. Make your left and right most minion golden. That is disgusting. Dude, spells are gonna be so unbalanced. But we're gonna have fun maybe. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be competitive, but let's have fun. Arizons. Looks like I can get him a triple. Heligos. Yeah, so we're out of this, we're out of this. Play this, we play this. We're out of this. I kinda want an amalgam. I'm not gonna buy this, I want an amalgam. Oxwind makes Amalgam really good, right? You always want to buy Amalgam. You just make a perfect Amalgam with Oxwind and Module in the game. Also, I can buy Primal Fin now. Amalgam is just really good. I think you, in this meta, you just always buy Amalgam if there's Toxwind in the game. Or Murdox in the game. Can you hover over your quest? Yes. Every, every turn I get two dragons. Nice Buy hero power. Spell. Find shield here. Boop. And boop. Have a of this. This fuck. Okay. Alright, no music. Nice. What is the job? I don't know. It's not for a specific job, it's just to get accepted as a. Um, to, to be able to work for the government. Kelly goes. <laughs> there. I forgot you can sell first, I'm sorry. I have to do it like that actually. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? But I should remember that you can do it. Okay, that's an hero power in my eyes. Three battle cries. Is this a battle cry? It is.
I'm really good at new patches. So. I love it. Like, I can adapt very quickly to new patches. But then I get stuck a lot. Like, I'm very, very good at adapting first, first days. And then... I'm just too lazy to actually learn, so I keep doing what I was doing all the time. And then I get a bit worse, and then I finally adapt to what other people are doing, and then I get good again. So I'm always really high MMR at the start of the season, then I'm like not that high MMR again. And then at the uh, like end of season, I'm really high MMR again. Normally. Dialogues. I can't hear Paul. I like where you're going with this. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Where's my Danina though? You got to quest at the start of your turn get two random Nagas? Yeah, how is that fair? Wait, how does he have Divine Shield on everything? Oh, I see. Yeah, this spell is also really OP with Murlocs, right? You just roll until finally a Murloc gets Divine Shield. So much OP stuff in this meta. I need to play Tunnel Blast against this guy next time. There's my Blaster against Max. Maybe I do sell this. I have so many Battle Cries in my hand. I guess I'm gonna kiss skip this Blaster for now. I want Nadina more. Okay, I'm getting out of this. I'm gonna play Blast anyway, so this is not that useful. Oh, I should have played this first, my bad. Just gonna make sure I don't accidentally pass Battle Cries that I don't know. Start of your combat, give another friendly divine shield and plus three plus. If you lost your last combat, sells for five. Guess we keep that. Mm, do I respect this guy and go for Lirai? He probably has a golden buster, right? Golden buster, golden baron. Maybe I go for Void Lord so his Buster doesn't die. Maybe. What a boo. Some quests are broken and some are terrible. Yeah, that's what I kind of saw. Wait, how did he do 30 damage and 15? He's not even strong. New patch is out, yeah. I'm playing it right now. You can see by my quest here. Maybe you should look before asking. I mean, there's people that think before asking and then there's humans. He's very weak. He did 30 damage and 15. I wasted money on a Void Lord. He might die to Max actually. Yeah, I, I should always beat Max. Oh, he was the, no, he was not a strong guy. A hero power, two battle cries. 
I guess. I don't want manas, I think. Better cry. What is this? Find a gold monkey. It's not the strongest, but it will fight hard. All right, this is our first trophy gaming of the season, guys. First trophy gaming with quests in the game. Ork. That's how we do. Timing. I mean, this here is just too strong. If you if you watch this on YouTube, don't forget to sub to my YouTube. Don't forget to sub. I'm not pushing you. Just reminding. 